Welcome to one of the most stressful starts to any video I think I've ever had. It's currently five o'clock in the morning. I look terrible, I look very tired, and I'm here at Edinburgh Airport. I shouldn't be here right now. I should already be in Belfast. It is annoying that this has happened today. It's one of the biggest opportunities that has come my way since starting this channel. And last night I was supposed to fly out, or last yesterday afternoon, from Glasgow to Belfast. EasyJet cancelled my flight. Then I thought about maybe getting a uh, boat over, a ferry potentially, but that wasn't going to work because of potentially the weather and just the timings and the cost and stuff. I've missed out a day in the hotel as well and it was weird because I was obviously... I've parked in Edinburgh. It's been an absolute nightmare and not the way I wanted to prepare for this big video. It's a League Cup final in Northern Ireland and I've got some amazing access apparently which I cannot wait for. I absolutely love it. Anyway, it's early, it's cold, I need to catch a flight. Hopefully there's no problems. Let's go to Belfast. Not the ideal start, obviously, but just glad to have made it to Belfast. Oh my god, last night I was stressing. Yes, but we are here. I've got so many videos planned whilst I'm here um, that I cannot wait to show you. So we've got the cup final today, um, which will be my second League Cup final in a couple of weeks. Um, after obviously the Celtic versus Rangers Cup final. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a card to that at the end. So do stick around to the end. You can click through and watch that one, have a bit of a binge. Um, I then have two more games coming up, one of which is a derby and a non-match day video that is going to be really, really interesting. Anyway, yeah, it is... 9.13, so we've got some time. I'm gonna walk down to Windsor Park later. Linfield, Coleraine, League Cup final. Wow, it's gonna be some occasion. I'm interested to see what it's gonna be like because obviously Windsor Park is Linfield's home stadium. It's also the national stadium, so it's also where they'll play these sort of neutral games, but it'll, I guess, feel like a home game for them. Um, I'm looking forward to um, getting back down there anyway. I was here last summer for a friendly against St Mirren. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Let's go grab some breakfast. Right, now I know that we've actually got time. Before breakfast, I'm gonna make use of this place. Belfast is a fascinating city and I've made a video, or numerous videos here actually, um, but I'll leave the thumbnail on screen right now of one that I made where I really look into the history of Belfast and how um, the history of this whole area and region um, kind of split over the years and how there is now like two uh, football associations of course, the IFA and FAI I think it is, but look here is the IFA, the Northern Ireland Football Association, you can see a couple of their ex-players there, it's an amazing city and like some of the like peace walls and some of the areas that you walk through are just so historic and um, so intriguing to see and I saw a lot of them in that other video that I just showed you the thumbnail of so um, yeah maybe we'll see a little bit of Belfast over the next couple of videos anyway Archie, Jack. Two big Linfield fans yeah? yeah? How big is the League Cup final here for a team like Linfield? Very massive oh, Yeah? Big final yeah? And um, what do you think the score is going to be today? 2-0 um, 2-0 James and BLA. so you two were both at the Kelty Hearts game yeah, yeah. we were just chatting about that I was there too what would it mean to Linfield to win this competition though this season I mean the, the world because we don't think we're going to win the league this year so we need to get a bit of silver work because yeah. I feel like it says a Linfield we should be winning trophies and you've not you're out of the rest of the cups is that right yeah, yeah. so you've been out of the rest of the cups but this is your like probably last chance for maybe yeah, a bit of silverware yeah. if Lana to win the league maybe yeah. But you could still catch them. We still could catch them, my guy. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah the, it's not too much. far. He's been, he's been down about it, but I think it's not too far. Yeah, still yeah. hurting. But um, Kyle Lafferty's recently joined you, boys, yeah. hasn't he? Is that he a good sign? He can't play today. He not register. Register. Oh, not registered for this competition. No, no. Oh, that's a shame. Well, do you reckon you win without him anyway? Oh, of course. Well, three one, Scott, three one, three one. Three one, then feel my favourite. I am to be What's the score going to be today? What are you saying? 2-1 oh, Linfield. 2-1 Linfield. Anyone else? 2-1 Linfield. 
Do you want nothing? Oh, it's pissing down. And on my way to the stadium, I had to walk past the bar that all the ultras are drinking in. Um, really, really nice welcome from them all there. I'm going to have to chat to some Cole Rain fans. Obviously, we're in Belfast, where all the Linfield fans are. I've done so many Rangers videos that um, I guess a lot of them have seen before. So it is pissing down. I've got my laptop in my bag. Not the ideal conditions, but let's get down to Windsor Park. David, thank you so much for the invite yeah, today. No problem, Sam. People will recognise you from the Glen Torren video I did uh, last summer yep, when I was right. over. Um, you've now moved to the NIFL. How has it been for you personally to uh, now work in football here in Northern Ireland? Yeah, it, it's been great. Obviously, working in football full time for anybody like us is an absolute dream. So mm -hmm. it's it's been fantastic. And today's obviously the, the showpiece occasion of Irish football, and to be involved in an event like this is just first class. So. Really looking forward to it and glad that you're here too to experience it with, with us and all the fans that Amazing are here as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm buzzing to be here and there's like a few intricacies I'm really interested to find out about. Explain to me about the dressing room situation, for example. So this is Linfield's home stadium. They were using their own dressing room. Is that like decided beforehand? Or? Yeah, it's, it, it is a, a neutral venue for the game, but Linfield, they're going to be using their changing room and Coleraine have chosen to use the away dressing room. So that's standard protocol for, for league games. And I guess both teams are just comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. the way it's going to be today. So yeah, huge game. Probably the biggest crowd there's going to be of the season at any Irish league game. So really looking forward to it. And what about the penalties as well? Yeah, um, so <laughs> Linfield haven't had much luck with penalties this year, so they've lost, I think, four times on, on penalties. I don't know if five would be a record, but mm -hmm. they'll be hoping to avoid more heartbreak with yeah. the penalty situation. What were the other competitions then? It was the... Yeah, so there, there was the Conference League, um, the Irish Cup, the County Anthem Shield, and the Scottish Challenge Cup that yeah. they're in too. So. If they lost another one today, I'm sure that would be heartbreaking for them. Yeah, but they don't want to see any more penalties, no, that's for sure. No, I'm sure they don't. They'll be wanting to get the job done within 90 minutes, I'm sure. Yeah, a massive thank you to David and the team for inviting me down here today. It's the calm before the storm right now. We've got at least an hour till kickoff, an hour and a half, something like that. I've just been doing some editing in the media room. I love to get these videos up the same day if I can. I think I might have to sit up there today, the press area, but this does give me access to pretty much anywhere around the perimeter of the stadium, even when the game is on, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, if I'm up there, I know that I can capture um, sort of good scenes from the fans and stuff. Um, but this takes me back now to when I was here um, against St Mirren in the summer. A completely different day weather-wise, of course, but um, yeah, I stood down here. This is where the St Mirren fans were. And then I made my way around the stadium. I even interviewed David Healy down there um, before the game as well. I got right up there as well, right in the top of the stadium too. So um, yeah, it's going to be some occasion. I absolutely love this ground. Look, you've got the, the green and the blue and the white seats to signify the many different teams and clubs and nations obviously that play the nation that will play here as well but look it looks like there is something on the seats for everybody to hold maybe pre-game as well so maybe like a tifo or a display hopefully a bit of pyro as well for the thumbnail will um will go down a treat but yeah what an opportunity to be here today absolutely buzzing for this one Two big Linfield fans Absolutely. Oh and my. Rangers fans as well. Obviously, obviously. tickets to Rangers as well. And so, how has the season gone for Linfield? This is your only cup that you're left in, right? Yeah, well, it's disappointing because we really should be well clear, but we haven't been attacking teams, and uh, that's been our downfall, being too negative for our yeah. tactics. If we had a bit more positive, I feel we would have walked the league, but we're not positive enough. And so, Lafferty can't play today, but what other players am I to look out for? Today, well, for Tan and the Finnish guys, do a good game. Um, he hasn't done it really against the big clubs. Gloria's one of the big clubs, so 
I would say him, and obviously our defence has to stay, he stay solid. last time against Coleraine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so how's the record against Coleraine? Okay. How are they doing this season? Mm, well, we drew nil nil with them twice, yeah. and then beat them. I think it was two nil here a few weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm confident we'll beat them today. Especially them, we always turn up in a big game, I guess. And so the score. Especially being the most successful team in the world. The most successful team in the world, exactly. I think six trophies. I think six Yeah, most league titles out of anyone in the in the world. Exactly. What do you reckon the score will be today? 2-0 no in food. And we'll win a penalty. You can see the trophy behind me, look at that, that is what everyone is here to play for today. The League Cup, the Bet McLean Cup, and um, yeah, some atmosphere is starting to build in here already now. And uh, the players are about to come out. We're right pitch side, look at this for a cup final, this is unbelievable. Thank you for all the support and getting me to here as per usual. Look at that, an amazing atmosphere here pit side, and there's the Coleraine fans over there. I've not had a chance to chat to anyone from Coleraine yet, unfortunately, but here's all the Linfield fans, look at them. Absolutely loving it. Great atmosphere here inside the National Stadium, the pyros are still going off in there. But look at this, could literally walk on the pitch if we wanted to, of this cup final here in Belfast. We are 1 minute 25 in, and I missed kickoff, so I had to take a lift up to the press box. But look at what a great view we have of the game here today up here. I'm so happy to be here, especially after the flight I was meant to get got cancelled. But now we've made it, we've got some great pyro. Hopefully that makes for a good, um, good thumbnail. And fair play to the Coleraine fans as well, bringing their fans in numbers here today, all across that top stand especially, but also in the bottom as well. Linfield over there and this stand and their ultras over there, Blue Unity. So obviously this isn't a league game, but to give you context on sort of where the teams are, there's not a lot between them. Look, Coleraine in fifth and the title race this year has been phenomenal. I feel like these top three are just pulling away a little bit now from the rest of the pack, but a few weeks ago it was very tight. There's only a few points between first and sixth. But yeah, look, Coleraine fifth on 57 and Linfield second with 62. And they're a very successful team, Linfield. I think, from my research, they're the most league titles of anyone in the world. Um, but it looks like Lan that could win it. Who knows? But today's a big one for Linfield, um, as it is for Coleraine as well. Jerry, you're a Coleraine supporter. I've been following Coleraine since I was about eight, year, eight years of age, and I'm wow. now 63. What's been the best moment of your Coleraine supporting life, would you say? Uh, well, the, going back to 1974, I think it was, won the Irish League. Yep, winning the Irish League. Yeah. And they've gone forward there. And your Coleraine have got a free kick just now. Yeah. What would it mean for you to beat Linfield here today at the home patch, basically, at Windsor Park? I'm pretty confident that Korean will beat them today. Yeah. I really think they They've not done well in the Cups this year. Oh, they have, aren't they? Pressure's on, pressure's on for Linfield in the Cups. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm pretty 
pretty confident that Coleraine will beat them through the day. Yeah. And what's the best thing about Coleraine as a club, in your opinion? For someone from outside of Northern Ireland who doesn't know much about them, what could you sort of tell them about Coleraine? They're a Coleraine? community club. You know what I mean? They're mixed. The supporters are all mixed, Catholic Protestants and all that there, you know, and they own what else do they do, you know? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, good luck for today. All, all the right, best. Oh. Half time here, not the best half of football I've ever seen. Limpio nils, Coleraine nil. Coleraine probably had the better of things in the first half, but see you in a second. So the second half has begun, and it, like I said, time there not too many chances in the first half hoping that it sparks into life a little bit Coleraine probably had the better of things but Linfield is basically home advantage for this neutral game and um, we still got a fancy them as the favourites I'm sure and three minutes into the second half you can see who scored it's Linfield look at the ultras Blue unit here, loving it. There they are, congratulating the goal scorer down there. And as you can see, the scoreboard has changed. It's 1 0 to Linfield here. And to be honest, I need this one to be done in the 90, and that means I can probably get this video up today, the same day of the game. Just one, a penalty here. Defender was looking the other way as the ball was coming to him, sort of went to clear it. Linfield player nipped in, nipped in, got the ball, and um, the cold rain defender has cleared the man. And it is going to be a penalty here to Linfield. Just coming up to 60 minutes, and it's a chance for Linfield to go 2 0 up here. competition a record 10 times they are 29 minutes away from making it 11 now Eleven thousand and thirty-eight here today has just been read out the attendance not a complete sellout as you can see there's a few um sections that haven't been sold to keep the separation of course but look behind the goal not a complete sellout and a few smatterings in there as well but um, a good atmosphere brought today by the blue unity and Coleraine they've been good as well but um, as this game's drawn on I feel for them and their fans Wow guys, check this out. I'm currently on the centre circle of the pitch where there's been a major cup final here in the UK. This is absolutely amazing. David Healy's just been up and the uh, Linfield players are here. Look at this, what an occasion. Yeah, a massive thank you to uh, everyone who's um, sorted this out for today. What an honour for me to be here. 
when I first did my first ever like press pass or whatever for Stenhouse Mule with no fans during COVID, I would have died for something like this. So it's absolutely amazing to be here all these years later. But yeah, less about me and more about these guys and the fans. Everyone's been so nice to me today. Congratulations to Linfield on winning this trophy for a record 11th time. Commiserations, Corrine. I thought they played well today, especially in the first half. I thought they edged it slightly, but in the end, Linfield, um, the quality just showed a little bit. They got the early goal in the second half and they were unable to, um, to peg them back, but played well today overall. Corrine feel for them a little bit. Jamie, you've just captained Linfield to, I think, your 22nd trophy, is that right? I think so, I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> and you've played over 700 times for the club yeah. as well. How do you keep going season after season? Um, I suppose enjoyment and uh, I think it's just mentality and just attitude where you just want to constantly win and constantly be the best. And, you know, I think that <clears throat> you're, you're a long time retired and you want to try and stay at, stay at the top for, for as long as possible. Yeah. And, and it's, I suppose, it's, it's, it's the buzz that you get. And so will there be many celebrations tonight or is it all eyes on the next fixture? Um, I think it's important that, you, that you know, we enjoy tonight and then concentrate then for, for Saturday. Um, we've obviously got a league title to retain. Obviously, it's out of our hands at the minute and we haven't done as well and we're not where we want to be. But as long as the, you know it's mathematical, po mathematically possible, then we'll keep pushing and, and, and keep trying to... To, to get there. Perfect mate, congratulations okay, on today, man. Thank, thank you so much. Look, there's been kicked out of the, um, the media room for the press conference room because the Linfield players are having a party in there now. Oh, look at it now. I did my outro at Hampden Park for the uh, cup final that I was at um, in Scotland recently when it was like this, dark at night, but I'm literally feel like the only one here there was like people knocking around last time like clearing things up and fair play to the Linfield boys they've brought a few beers to the media staff that are still here so here's a drink to Linfield congratulations on uh, winning another trophy but look at this right what a moment look on the pitch after a cup final thank you so much for all the support really does mean a lot um, since I've started doing this channel to to be able to do things like this. This is always the dream This was always the aim the ambition was to get to places like this I didn't know exactly where or when or how but three and a bit years later um, Here I am I'm getting dripped on here um, But someday look at this <laughs> Linfield what a cool club man. Yeah, Northern Ireland really really cool place to come and watch football. So um, yeah, if you're ever looking to come and watch football it's easy to get to from the UK you can fly to Belfast um, you can get the boat over maybe as well if you're from Scotland um, like I know a lot of you will be so yeah a huge thank you for watching do remember to hit that like button do remember to subscribe if you're new I promised I'd leave some videos on screen Ooh, I'm getting cold out here now so yeah I'll leave those videos on screen for you guys um, that I've mentioned in this video in this video thank you very much and cheers <laughs>